Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ask a Connexpert Q&A where we think outside the blocks and answer all of your Connects related questions. My name is John and I'm the lead Connects designer at Basic Fun and also your friendly neighborhood Connexpert. Okay, so today we're going to do something a little bit differently and instead of answering questions from the queue, uh, we're going to be providing a preview for one of our latest and greatest Connect sets available for fall of 23 on Amazon.com. This is the new Kinex Marble Coaster Run. It includes over 500 pieces, a motor, and also incorporates new parts that are specifically designed to work with marbles. Also included in this set are different building levels. These are great, so that way at level one, this is perfect for any beginner or someone new to Kinex. This unlocks a few of the basic features of the model. At level number two, this is where the model gets a little taller and unlocks a few more features. And then at level three, this is where you unlock all four paths of the model. And then this also includes the motor driven chain lift, which is really cool to see operate and work. So what I'm gonna do is unbox this set. We're gonna go through the instructions, do a few time lapses, and then at the end, I'm gonna provide a few tips and tricks to make sure that the model works correctly and consistently. So that way at the end, you're not gonna end up losing your marbles. All right, let's get started. Okay, now that we've sorted through the parts, let's take a look at the instructions. If we open up to the first page, this includes important safety information. Uh, specifically, this set is not made for children under the age of four. And then this includes information about batteries and the motor. If you want to go through a step-by-step -step process of how to install the batteries into the motor, that is included in our last episode, episode three of Coaster Troubleshooting. So you can check that out there. This page here, if you're new to Connects, this goes over building basics how the rods and connectors can go together, how the four slot and seven slot connectors slide together to form 3D structures, spacers, and then how the chain goes together. Now this is really important when the time comes, so we'll just go over that now. When it comes to assembling the chain links so they stay together when they're attached securely, take one link, note the opening on this end. When you take another chain link, Position it in the same orientation. The teeth will slide on like so and then just press. You'll hear that click and then that will rotate and hinge freely and smoothly. And then just keep adding one more link at a time. And that's all there is to it. So then if we go to the next page, page number four, this is going to include the entire part list for the set. This is everything that should be included uh, within the box. Go through, make sure that every single piece has the correct quantity. If you find that you're missing any pieces, go to basicfun.com, the customer support page, and then when you need to request any additional parts, just use this part number right underneath here, uh, underneath the part image. All right, so let's begin level one. At this point, we've completed level one, which is shown here. And so at this point, you can take the marbles and really just start throwing them into the different troughs and sections. That'll spin the wheel. You can just launch one right off that yellow panel. And then there's this section over here you can drop marbles into. And really this is designed so no matter what happens, they'll lead down into this blue section and line up right near these yellow gears. That's where the chain lift will eventually go. And that's gonna be shown in level three. So now that this is complete, we can get started with level two. Okay, we are now complete with level two of the build. So I'm just gonna test out a few of the different sections. 
Okay, number one, just from level one. All right, we're still good there. Then what I'm gonna do is drop a marble in this new path that will circle around the entirety of the build. All right, that looks good as well. Then what I'm gonna do, instead of dropping the marble right into here, I'm gonna test out the flip arm. So if I drop that in, all right, that looks good. And then lastly, I'm gonna test this last path out here. All right, and that looks good. And so again, all the marbles are gonna funnel right towards the bottom, right towards those two yellow gears. Before we move on to level three of the build, there's a few adjustments I wanna make before we get to the end of the build. These will really pay off. So number one is if I shift the model over here, you're gonna notice this attachment point right here. What we found through subsequent testing is that if this is adjusted and flipped, that just lines everything up just a little bit better for when more track is gonna intersect with this point. So that was the first change I made. Number two, and I'm just gonna take this section off is that for this flip arm, what I can do is actually push down these rods, they'll slide. And so what that will do is just allow that arm to lean a little bit and that will position it better once the other pieces are in place. And then you can slide these bottom pieces as well. And so I'm gonna just slide the top two over towards this direction just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna reattach that. Okay, so at this point, the build is looking good. And now we're ready for level three. Okay, so that completes level three. The marble coaster run is now complete. Before I load the marbles into the coaster run and turn on the motor, I'm gonna test each individual path manually uh, before I turn the motor on. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so to check each path, I'm just gonna get this a little closer here. All I'm gonna do is drop the marble into this section of the build. So let's start with path one. All right, so in that case, we saw that there was a misfire. So all I'm gonna do is, this is with the accordion tubes. I can actually just adjust the angle of that tube. And so what that does is that gives me a better direction into the flipper arm. So let's try that one more time now. Much better. Okay, so that one is good to go. Now if I do the next one. All right, excellent. That one looks good. Now I'm going to do this one. Okay, so this is another thing. The toggles in here, these yellow pieces, you wanna make sure that those are nice and loose. So if anything's pressing against them, like these hand pieces, just spread them apart so that way it rotates freely. Okay, so in this case, I need to move this um, scoop over just a little bit so I can slide it and get that closer. So let's try that one more time. And you can just reset the toggles. Oh, okay, so you know what? On this one, we need to adjust the alignment on this one here. So let's just push this one back a little bit. There is some flexibility in all the different aspects of the structure here. So let's try this again. 
Perfect. Okay, and so let's go to our last one now. So when we started out at level one, we just dropped the marble into here to spin the pinwheel. Now what we're gonna do is drop it. It'll go through this tube instead if everything goes to plan. All right, we're in good shape now. All four paths work. So now we're at a good place to turn the motor on. All right, let's do it. Everything is looking good and operating well. You have now completed all three levels of the Kinex Marble Coaster Run. All right, I hope that was helpful. Like and subscribe below so you don't miss out on the next episode. Also, leave us a comment if you have questions you'd like answered on Ask a Kinexpert Q&A. My name is John, reminding you to think outside the blocks with Kinex.